Welcome back, this is Tredis with another episode in the Miami Dolphins franchise. We really started terribly into this uh, new season here and 0-2 uh, currently. The results weren't bad. I'm not going to go into too much depth on these, but it was close. One touchdown in it and one field goal in it. And to be honest, we even missed a field goal in this game, so that is especially, <laughs> especially silly uh, from our point of view. But we just have to pick ourselves up. Uh, nobody else to blame apart from ourselves. This week, we've got the mock draft. We've got the players ready to negotiate regional focus scout. Loaded in the draft class of 2026. It's still a very early file, of course, uh, but I do uh, want to have at least a few uh, realistic names in there. I'm quite sure that there are a few nonsense names in there as well. But uh, for instance, Arch Manning, who is uh, currently playing, uh, I think it's his freshman year, so still quite a while until he's gonna be in the draft. But here you can see that uh, this draft actually looks to be quite realistic uh, when you look at these, um, these attributes here. So really not much that can go wrong here. I checked for any profanity, so that's not in there and that is good. But um, yeah, for the most part, I always like having at least a few realistic players in there and uh, the game will just have to sort this. I just loaded it in, so I guess that's why the mock draft isn't working. The regional focus scouting, I will delegate this to staff. That works for me. And uh, next up, we're going to take a look at the players that are ready to negotiate. We've got Karim Kosioglu there. That's the free agent that we picked up um, last week. I'm going to give him a new deal. Quite sure about that. Uh, Jamar Chase is up, Jalen Waddle is up, uh, we've got Sammy Watkins, we've got Jimmy G, we've got Tyler Shatley, Emmanuel Ogba is up for negotiation, that's a big one. We can give him a one-year deal, um, his interest is high, not that expensive overall. Two is up, so that's a big question as well. We've got Channing Tindall, uh, we've got Jimmy Ward, Bobby Wagner, so I'm not too bothered about the, uh, about the mentors, that is Bobby Wagner, Jimmy Ward for instance. Um, Channing Tindall, I think I'm going to keep him around at 77 rated and the age 25. That works for me to keep him along. Tua is a big question mark. I don't know what he's going to do, but that contract is just a lot. Um, Emmanuel Ogba is a definite uh, player that I want to keep. Uh, Tyler Shatley, Jimmy G, Sammy Watkins, those are the mentors. But these two are the big question marks. The question is, can I keep both? And I'm not sure if I will be able to do that. The cap room is there in uh, in certain ways, uh, but we're just going to have to see what we would have to pay here. I don't think we'll get him with this here, so we're going to have to go with a player friendly offer. Uh, that is a lot of money. That is a lot of money. So 14.4. What's the medium ground here? I'm going to give him a five year deal but I will drag this down to, I don't know, 13.5. I will give, put this to 8.5. That is a huge deal. That is still a lot of money. And I'm really considering um, just trading him uh, if we don't get a deal done. Let's see. Uh, I need to do more to convince me. That is what I was fearing. Uh, Jalen Waddle, I think we can get him to stay with us. Uh, but Jamar Chase, that's a huge question mark. I'm really not sure what to do about him. Um, he is a very good player. Uh, there's really no doubt in my mind. Just look at these uh, attributes here. Um, but yeah, at the moment, we're really having trouble. What are the motivations here? No players. So no franchise QB. All right. Uh, player of contender. We are at least that. And it's close to home. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Looking at the roster of the Saints, we've got Jackson Dart. Start of trade. 22 years old. Out of Ole Miss. Uh, looking... Very solid, actually. 80 rated, that is not too crazy high, um, but still a very solid player at 22 with that start of trait. Daniel Jones is there, uh, and Kellen Mon, two backups. Halfback is Alvin Kamara with the Superstar X Factor. This is one of the best halfbacks in the game currently, ninth ranked. Super dangerous. Um, so, uh, Zach Charbonnet behind him, Chris Johnson, a rookie. Is it, these two are solid, but he's really elite. Fullbacks Eric Myers, wide receivers Chris Olave, uh, 25 years old, start F trade, 86 overall. Very good wide receiver. Still has room for improvement, of course, but overall, 
KJ Handler, decent, Donovan Cooper, Emmanuel Scott. So not the not the most elite wide receiver room. Olave is very good, I would I would give him that. Um, KJ Handler is very quick. The others are only decent. Tight end is Mike Isicki. <laughs> we know that. I think we traded him there even, didn't we? Let's just take a quick look. Now we trade him to Baltimore uh, for Odafi away. And uh, yeah, now he's with the New Orleans Saints. So that's a homecoming for him. Adam Troutman is there as well, 28. Mike Griffin, 2377. Actually not looking too bad with a start of trade. Looks like a solid tight end. But yeah, I mean, Mike Isicki and Troutman and Griffin are, this is a solid tight end room. The offensive line, Trevor Penning, 86 with H26. These two are backups at most. But Trevor Penning looks good with a start of trade, high strength, run block power, impact blocking. This is looking solid. Left guard, Lakin Tomlinson, a veteran out of Duke. Pretty good ratings, still 84, super solid player. Aaron Brewer behind him. Center, Creed Humphrey, that is the best center in the game right yes that he is h27 fantastic center and gary hardy behind him as the backup cesar ruiz 88 overall 26 years old at the right guard position he was with new orleans before creed humphrey came from the chiefs right tackle ryan ramsick and blake freeland behind him not looking too bad actually but ryan ramsick super old but still going strong with that superstar dev trade on defense we've got a sean robinson he joined from the rams Dejo Oreyingbo, georgia lee looking nice what is it what dev trade does he have normal dev trade all right right edge Derek cosby is injured so johnny ellington will be taking over here that's a rookie out of northwestern 70. that is not great that is not great uh, good for us maybe Oreyingbo will be switching over or even Georgia Lee, that's everybody's better than Ellington. D tackle is Tristan Hill and Justin Jones. Tristan Hill, 27 out of UCF with a normal death trait. He's out of New Orleans, so that's okay. Justin Jones, he came from Buffalo before he was with uh, Chicago. Then we've got Malcolm Roach and Will Smith, Will Smith is there. <laughs> that's a nice one. Is that a joke? All right, he's, a, he's got a hidden death trait. He even looks a little bit right, like him with a lot of fantasy, right? Left as a linebacker, Tremaine Whitfield and Anthony Nelson. Whitfield, I think it was a draft pick. Yes, so uh, he's there. 2380 star death trait is good. Miles Jack, superstar death trait. That's a very good mid linebacker. Quite dangerous. He was in Pittsburgh before, and now he's. Here with the Saints, Zach Logan, Chris Knox are backups. Pete Warner is a right outside linebacker, and uh, DeMarco Jackson. So Pete Warner is the starter here, and he's solid. He was with the Saints for a long time. Solid choice. Corner, Marshall, Lattimore, and Akella Witherspoon. Lattimore, actually crazy, man. 98 and only a start of trade. Fourth ranked corner in the game. This is a dangerous player. 23, gotta remember this one. Akello with a spoon. 30 and 80 overall. 77th ranked corner in the game. Solid choice. Uh, Alante Taylor, Josiah Scott, and Marquise Winter are also there. Uh, this is a quite balanced room, but Marshall and Lattimore, I would even say he's elite, even without Superstar or Axe Factor. Doesn't matter. Darnell Savage, 28, 88, and Xavier Woods, 30 and 78. Darnell Savage. Very quick, good in pursuit and hit power. And uh, Savage was uh, second year of being with the Saints. He was with the Packers before. And strong safeties, Tyron Matthew, the Honey Badger is still there, 33 and 94 rated. Giant paycheck right there, Tyler Scandrick. I think I know the name from somewhere, but uh, looking good, man. Rookie out of Penn State, 76. That's a worthy, uh, worthy successor, I think, for Tyron Matthews. Definitely not at his level yet, but that doesn't matter too much. Uh, Tyron Matthews is there right now. Bobby Bass, is that the small brother of Tyler Bass, is a kicker. Actually looking quite nice. Normal death trade, but good kick power, kick accuracy, not as much. And the counter is Nate Allen. 
to translate this into a sensible weekly strategy, uh, we're going to have to take a look at this here. I think, as always, the short pass limitation is the most promising. The deep pass, he does have the best stats, weirdly enough. But we will, we will focus on the short passing. We're going to go with full pass, but we will be splitting the experience points across the board here. Don't really want to risk an injury. Offensive game plan. Here we go. What are we going to do? Throw it short to see suggestion. I'm not sure about this looking at Lattimore. So the blitz counter maybe or run it inside. Let's try this. I mean, Marlon Mack is, is, is definitely dangerous, but um, yeah, we will still have to have to keep an eye out for him. The wide receiver is going to split. Titans are going to split. So looking good. Uh, Michael Mayer should be back again from his injury. So that is, that's an important one. Uh, we're going to sack the QB five times. We're going to allow 20 points or less. We are going to get 250 yards and we're going to win the turnover battle. Defensive training results are in. We are reducing fatigue for a few players on defense. So that was important. And on offense, let's see here. A lot of experience points. That is great. No injuries so far. That was a good training session. Very pleased with that actually and if you look at the top you can see that all of those away games are coming and those are gonna be nasty CJ Greg left edge will be getting an upgrade I'm gonna put this into run stopper let's get him improved at that position 22 year old out of Washington Jeremy Ruckert gonna put this into possession it was really funny I picked him up in free agency had him in the practice squad and then he just sort of dropped him to my lap when Hunter long left. And here we've got Karim Kostioglu. This is the uh, free agent that we picked up. I will be continuing. Uh, I think I will be going towards power rusher. I want to get his power up. Uh, we need to improve him further. Of course, that is quite clear, but uh, we'll be doing that. Pass coverage is too far away. Bo Collins, superstar, dev trait. Gonna try and upgrade him more. Gear him towards playmaker. A lot of upgrade points. That's very nice. 22 year old Clemson product. Might even use him as a successor for, uh, for Jamar Chase. Uh, let's just take a quick look at the roster. If there's any changes that we need to make. Nope, it doesn't look like it. Uh, Michael Mayer is fit again. That is awesome. On defense, we've got everybody set up quite nicely here. And with that said, we're going to head into the game. Let's see if we can surprise the Saints at home. Hard Rock Stadium, once again the venue for the game here in week three. As uh, the Miami Dolphins are going to be facing off against the Saints. Marshawn Lattimore, 11 tackles last week. Oh, he's got to be crazy. I already know that. Talia didn't have the best game. Uh, we could have had a better game last week, um, but for some reason, we just couldn't really convert our chances. Um, the flyover happening. The Saints, I gave them their traditional uniforms. The black ones really think this is a very nice look. We're using our 2000s classic home uniform that we used in the last game. It's gonna be a rain game, so I think we chose the right strategy right there. And uh, the defense has been very good, right? So I'm very satisfied with, with, with how the defense performs, but our offense is something that is seriously uh, concerning for me, because we are just not really performing um, up, maybe up to our standards, right? We should be better. And Pichon, 89 yards last week. The visor is missing for his helmet. That's a, that's a weird glitch always. Um, I'm fully aware that we're facing a pretty tough uh, defense here as well. The defense is better than their offense. So that is something that just has to be said. I'm going to try this one here. Right hand side rush. 
drag down here, third and two. Well, that was good. Let's go the halfback wham here. Gonna go for a straight hand, straight run towards the left hand side. I mean, we could try something like this here. The drag wheel. The stick is also nice with DJ Johnson, but I think we're gonna keep it safe. I'm really not too crazy about uh, about losing the ball here in these whip conditions. First and ten at the forty now. Let's go the mountain zone. Quick left hand side run. They're stacked, absolutely stacked. Three linebackers. Right there. Oh, what a hard hit here. Uh, with a spoon, second and nine. Didn't really get going. I wasn't sure if I should go to the outside. And here we go. We've got the two back there. Four back players. There we go. Number 22 takes us down. Uh, solid tackle on Bijan here. Halfback zone weak is our next move. And that's Miles Shack, number 22, and Tyron Matthew also setting up on the right. That's why I'm rather, rather focusing on that left hand side. I mean, it doesn't really matter too much, to be honest. Second and nine. It's always a very tight situation over there. Because they just move over, of course. Uh, but then again, if we can get going. It always comes down to those blocks. Going with a lot of stiff arms here. Let's try this slip screen here. The weather is horrid, so I don't expect field goals to work too well. Oh, that was a good one. And a stiff arm getting out of bounds. First and 10 here. And that was a good one. We're at the 37 now. And we are going to continue with the pistol zone, left-hand side. Definitely going to go towards that side. There's, there's a chance for an opening. Oh, there is no chance for an opening. Oh, there is actually. Jesus, did you see that truck? Second and one. Eight, year, eight rushes and already 35 yards. Halfback zone weak, left-hand side. I mean, chase... Maybe Waddle. Nah. Not on this one. We're gonna we're gonna have to play it safe. There we go. Alright, we get the first down, but that was a little bit of a, a messy rush, maybe. Quick pace, left hand side. A lot of players near the line of scrimmage. Ah, the bench. I'm not sure about that. Lattimore and Tyron Matthew back there. I mean, they're just going to cover everything. So far, we have... Um, we've, we've, we've been solid on the moving forward. Let's try to stick here. We're going to go with the waddle. Take it down here. Second and eight. Two yards. That's not too much of a gain. Going to go in the inside zone. Left-hand side. Although the... Yeah, it looks quite open on the right, doesn't it? Could I try this, or am I get ham I'm gonna get hammered? Yeah, I'm gonna try this one here. I mean, the truss is definitely something that is um, that is giving me a little bit more peace and calm, you know, because I just know that he won't fumble the ball. It's not going to drop it, so that is good. But, I mean, doesn't matter. Still is always a little bit of a risky situation. Oh, and can we get away here? And we are dragged in, but we get it done. Oh, that was a zigzag run. Savage catching up to us in the end. But Bijan really, really... I think he just cleaned out the safe with there. A little bit of Elvis. And that was a good one. Very nice run. And those tight corners that he can cut are just great. And that was well done. That's the first touchdown. And we hold them. We hold them super close. 
That is good. That is good. We're not pushed too far back. We're at the 46. That is giving me some confidence. Hmm. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh. almost got taken down here. Bruce Sternum, that's Jackson, right? So we're gonna bring in McKinney, second and five, 45 quick base. We're gonna try it. If we can get it done with McKinney, that'll work for me. Do I go with this one? Three minutes, 38 now. I don't know if uh, if that left tackle will work uh, in my favor now. It's a slight weakness there. Of course, the player is not the uh, the best ranked at that position. So let's just take a look what my options are here. We've got Austin Jackson, who is injured. We've got Carter McKinney. He's all right, but he is uh, 74 rated with 84 strength, so it's not too bad. But I would rather put someone like Kendrick Green there or Jackson Carmen. So I'm going to put Kendrick Green over there. He's a very versatile player, has a lot of strength, which is really great. There we go. And since Bijan is being um, developed a little bit more into the power back option, you know, in the, in the uh, more powerful player option not the elusive back only he can really work with his hands more and uh, that is awesome i don't trust this route because it is past tyron matthew and that is just a little bit too scary for my liking but there we go six yards on the rush let's try this another halfback screen here just don't get tackled for loss that is the important thing good catch and there we go 23 that's Lattimore taking us down hardly expected him to break through that tackle but but still I mean could have gotten shoved back and if we get in a one-on-one -on -one situation with uh, with defenders then we can we always have a chance this is a nice looking, nice looking run route here for Chase. We're gonna try this. That was a very good one. Jamai Chase really got away there well. Lattimore stopping him. I did look at other wide receivers and I'm really unsure as of what I'm gonna do about Chase. I probably could afford to give him a little bit more money but um, still, it is, uh, it's a lot of money. It's going to drag down our, our salary cap quite a lot. Uh, for the moment, we're not, we're not having any problems with the salary cap this year, but maybe next year. I don't know how the, how the spillovers will be handled. Oh, that's slightly out of reach for, for Michael Mayer. Now that would that would have been a great one. He was really free. He was really free on that one. We're gonna go with this one. Halfback slip screen, a left hand side. I know we're playing a lot a lot via Bijan, but that's just his role. And there we go. Completely free. And that is a team effort. So let's have a team celebration here. Bam! There we go. I don't know what they're doing either. Oh, playing tug of war. Oh wow, Bijan super strong. <laughs> Adel was playing in the background, so that is awesome. Super, super great, and we hold them again. That is also super important that we really manage to pull off these uh, these stops on defense. Gonna go with Waddle now. Chase is also an option or Mayor. Oh, please let that be a first down. Please. Oh, that is a first down. 
absolutely amazing did you see that and that speed on the on the final me Ooh. oh they're gonna contest that one aren't they is that gonna be a review no all right for once we have momentum working our way oh that was bad all right couldn't get through couldn't get through 55 seconds on the clock here the clock has stopped so we're gonna go the white trail I am gonna put Waddle on a hot route. I'm gonna gonna put him on a slant to the right hand side. If I can get him free over there, that's that's a good one. Otherwise I will be looking for Mayor. <gasps> oh that was inaccurate. That was super inaccurate actually. Why was that so bad? I'm gonna try this one here again. Yeah, taking down fourth and five as the Saints call for a timeout. They are obviously smelling a chance at getting back at us. We're going to go with the field goal now. Going to go slightly towards the middle here. Oh, that is towards your right, but... I don't know how many times I've hit the upright. <laughs> well, that is... I, I don't know how often that happens in the... And there we go. They're on the board. That was quick. That was very quick. Our defense didn't even manage to hold them a little bit there. Uh, let's keep calm. Let's keep calm. Gonna go the Y stick. Gonna go with Johnson here. Almost caught by number 15. Good God. That would have been an immediate... Oh my God. That was terrible. That was really not good. Don't like the options here. I mean, I like this. And you know what? We're going to risk this. It's 10 seconds on the clock here in the first half. We have the ball, and I mean, I just want to get into field goal range. We're going to set up tightly here in the middle. And now I want to have a breakout route. Do I have one like this one? I'm going to go with the tight end attacker. Mayor is going to be running back there. Let's hope he gets free. I'm going to be chucking the ball away. Oh my god, throw the ball away, Talia. Nope. Right, second and 19. We're going to let the clock run down now. Nelson getting in that tackle. Actually a sack on Talia, number 28. And uh, still an open game. Very open game. No runs up to now. Only short passing. And that is why we were able to hold them. All right. Rather one dimensional. We're going to return right. Bo Collins. Come on, man. And that is... Was it Braden Bass? I don't know. Take him down here at the 21. Could have gone for a touchback. Bishan Robinson, 76 yards today. Not really the best performance by him, but... We certainly have had worse games. We need to watch out that we don't let momentum slip too much. So there we go. One yard on the rush. Inside zone, left-hand side run. Let's go with this one here. I don't see a gap. I don't see a gap on the audibles here. Could try this one, but I doubt we'll get chase free in the backfield. Gonna try and... Take away a few more yards. Ooh, that, oh, my lord, please let me get over there. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I was through suddenly. I wasn't expecting that, but that was... Oh, my God, I should have just gone straight. But I feared there was going to be a tackle or something like that. All right, let's go to the mesh spot now. 
can we put them on alternate wrap? Gonna go the bench to curl here. Waddle or Johnson is gonna be my target. Jesus Christ. Talia suddenly. I don't know. Throwing very very well here and Waddle really connecting well here. Right knee was inside, the foot was down. Everything looking very nice. So we're gonna set up in a pass play here. Mayor and Chase. But I am gonna audible a different play, I feel like. Or am I gonna try this? I'm gonna try this. Oh no. That was overthrown quite wildly actually. Left hand side running the pouring rain. Jesus man, it's really coming down hard. And a block. Come on guys, go for a block and there we are. Third and four. That was good. Let's go for a mesh spot here. DJ Johnson, who did a great job last time. Waddle is going to go on the long run. Mayer is going to be going across. That's going to be fourth and one. And I think a 53-yard field goal. Or do we go with a with one of these? I think I'm going to go with the mountain zone. Left-hand side run. DJ Johnson in motion here. And we are ready to go. Oh, we are getting across with the ball. First and ten. And <laughs> everybody in the raid coats. That looks funny. All right, Bijan, let's go. Oh, there's space on the right side. Can we exploit that? I'm gonna try this one here. Mayor on the right. Jesus Christ, a lot of power in that throw. Inside zone, left hand side, second and ten. Oh, stiff arm, there we go. And that was a stiff arm on the honey badger. Beautiful stiff arm, actually. Great route, bam, oh my god. I didn't expect that, but that was absolutely beautiful. I mean, I know that he's powerful right now, but I mean, that's a honey badger, right? Oh, stop. Very close at the two yard line. It really took some time to react to that, didn't it? Everybody following the wide receivers. I mean, they got me there. But calls for an inside zone run here. Or do I put Mayer on that outside round? Red zones deserves PA go slot. What's the difference? I'm gonna go with this one here. I want to have Mayer. Sort of available over there. Mm, that smacked away. And they really saw that one coming. Second and goal. We're going to go the halfback line. Two yards. I don't want any experiments here. I mean, if we get over there, that really is going to work. All right, we're going to try it again. Yeah, there we go. And we're in. We're in. That worked super well. Michael Mayer really getting free there. And that, that is a, a play that I really like. I we're using that consistently and that always shows me that we're getting, I don't know, we're not getting things done, done, but you know, we're sort of getting into a groove in certain situations 
And uh, here again, left hand side run with Bijan. He's been in the zone most of the game. There we go. That was very good. Five yards pick up here. Halfback power. Oh, left hand side run. Oh, they're stacking up. Can I exploit that? I'm going to go with this one. Curl post. There we go. Robinson to the outside. Slam bam. All right, take him down. Number 30 does come across. And this, for instance, seems to be a rookie uh, quarterback. That is not as well developed as Caleb Williams. Because Williams is very good. There we go. Tolly, a really nice connection there. Inside zone, left hand side run. Let's go with this one here. And again, I want to see good blocks. And 63 is just doing such a good job at blocking. I have to check who that is. I think it's Tyler, Tyler Smith. Let's just take a look here. 63, yes, Tyler Smith. He's doing so well. Those are such important blocks and tackles over there. Well, not tackles, but just blocks. Putting defensive players on their backsides. And Bijan does the rest. So our, our, our pass rush is really very well de developed. All right. Nothing in there. We're going to try and pick this up on the run. Oh, Taken down, but I did get across the line. 151 yards today. So this today, again, a very good game. And that is mostly the difference um, on those inside players on the line. Um, so if those edge rushers or the defensive tackles are quickly there, then that is a problem. If they're very tough, very solid, very strong, that is a problem. We're not getting anywhere then. Um, I'm going to go with the double outs here. I'm going to go for Chase. Oh, that was out of bounds. Second and ten. He does seem to lack that, I don't know, that um, that final rush momentum that Waddle does have. And that is often the difference maker. All right, third and eight. Not, not too many yards here. What do we do? I'd like to use a screen, actually. As we are hit by the two-minute warning. Seven and 21. What a rainy day, man. So we're going to go with the 94 wheel. I think this one work will work well with the... Uh, the fullback going to the right, sort of dragging players away. Oh, but too much space over there. Fourth and nine. Ah, oh, we lose the X factor. Lose the zone ability. All right. 50 yards out. That is too far away. We're going to punt. We're going to punt this ball. We're going to try and put it as far back as we can. Slightly to the right, slightly inaccurate, but it might still work. Fair catch. Was that a fair catch? At the 12 yard line? That is weird. All right, our defense holds him again. We must have really chosen the right game plan here. Oh, there's so much space on that left hand side. Let's try this one. Let's go with Robinson as a fake. And there we go. A lot of defenders elsewhere. And we're not going to work on stopping the clock here. We're going to let them do that. The fourth quarter. 21 and 70. All right. I'm liking this score. I'm liking this score because there's not much room for me to break things, right? But we have been playing very nicely. Very, I don't know, very... Uh, solidly here. 
smacked away, second and 10. Talia here, 13 and 22, not too fantastic. <clears throat> the pass plays have not worked all the time. Ah, oh, but I can feel it, this one will. Let's go, Jamar. Oh, Jesus Christ, that was inaccurate. Why? Why was that so inaccurate, man? was looking good the offensive line was holding Jamar goes for the turn and that actually if I put the ball into that area over there and I'm talking about this area here this would be perfect but it's just wildly overthrown man hmm not what I wanted to see we're gonna try and get a little bit further up the field with this screen here again. Oh, get away. Oh, they're starting to work better. We're still not where I want them to be or where I want us to be in terms of the pass plays because we're still working a lot with our um, with our running back. Fourth and three. I'm going to take the field goal. Am I going to hit that right again? I don't know. Slightly towards the right, but this time I aimed enough into the middle to sort of negate any negative effects. Well, that was a good one. Straight into the middle. And uh, oh, they push back. 24 14, and that is why it's so important to really get those points. Oh, this is nice. That's a good field position now. I'm just going to go for a run. Timeout called. I actually wanted to call this timeout, but they were slightly faster than I was. All right. I don't know why they're... Oh, well, obviously they want to try to get back into this game. Do I go with... Let's go the play action white cross here. Looking for a mayor, obviously. Outside, run. All right. Wanted to stop the clock and get another field goal in there, but that is the game. We're going to take the win at home. And this is what I was looking for against the Jets. But they truly are our rivals. Tolly had a good game today. And as did the offensive line as well. The Saints... Luckily, a little bit of a let up after those tough games, week one and two. There we go. Talia got 60% uh, completion rate, three touchdowns, zero interceptions, super important. Uh, 163 yards. That was good. Bijan again, great. A lot of running, a lot of work from him, 164 yards. And on the receiving side, we got Bijan Robinson. And uh, we also got Michael Mayer with the touchdowns. It was three touchdowns. Uh, blocking. Skoronski allowed a sack. Yes, I know. Tyler Smith was great. Patterson Mooty really working well. He was a sack leader. Akello with his booty. 14 sacks. Jesus Christ. Miles Mack. Josiah Scott. Oren Igbo. Latimer. Wow. Did we get anything done? Right, we got that. And we didn't get any interception. Weird, but we stopped them and we won the game. That's what counts. That was a fantastic game. Really enjoyed this one. We we absolutely managed to really play to our strengths. Uh, it was still 24-14. It is still never a blowout. It never is. But next week away against the Falcons, this is going to be tough because they really improved the team. You're going to see that next week. Whew, that is going to be a tough one. But I enjoyed this a lot. I hope you did as well. Um, yeah, if you did, please drop me a like and subscribe. It means a lot to me. It helps the channel so much. And a lot of the viewers actually are not subscribed. Only around 20%, I think. So please do that. It really means a lot to me. I'd like to crush the 100 subscriber target this year. That would be a big milestone for me. And uh, yeah, as always, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you very, very much. 
Thanks for taking the time watching my, my content and see you next time.